so I'm wearing glasses today and of course my diva light is reflecting off the light so the glasses look a little bit funny so I apologize in advance but um, this is what we're dealing with and it's probably what we're going to be dealing with until I get LASIK. So um, if you didn't already know, hey Christina, I'm getting LASIK <laughs> surgery. So if you didn't already know, I have a negative nine in this eye, my left eye, and then I have a negative six and a half on this eye. And if you didn't know, also LASIK can cover, can correct nearsighted vision up to negative 12, <laughs> which I had no idea because I wasn't even sure all this time. I didn't, I wasn't even sure, hey James, all this time, I wasn't even sure if I qualified for getting LASIK corrective surgery to get back to 2020 vision. My vision was not great, probably starting in first grade. And then I like I got my eyes tested and I thought, you know, I think I should probably get some corrective glasses or something. And then I think the teachers were really nice and always moved me to the front. And then <laughs> I was in gym class and I was having trouble hitting the, the volleyball across the net. And then... I eventually had a conversation with my parents. I'm like, I think I need glasses. So I got glasses ever since I was like at least in the third grade. And when I could see better, all of a sudden I started making straight A's. Go figure. And I was a top class always of all my courses. And, um, and I remember when I was 13, I was wondering if I would ever have good vision, like 20-20 vision. And I remember seeing this image that there was this person slowly... <laughs> stacking these metal rods hey Wes they were slowly stacking these metal rods into like a pyramid type triangle and I thought oh my gosh the rate that they, they track they they stack these metal rods like they're gonna take forever so here I am about to hit 40 this year and I finally get my eyes consulted and I learned that I actually qualify to get LASIK surgery so these, they asked me to not wear my contacts for a few days so that my eyeballs can like loosen up and not be shaped by the, the contacts. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this diva light thing and talk to you without this reflection in my glasses, but typically you see this reflection in my eyes instead of on my glasses. So <laughs> I look like I'm wearing sunglasses or something. But I promise I'll still always have wonderful content to share with you and we'll always have soul expansive enlightening conversations and today I had a conversation with my husband about what does it take to be an entrepreneur do happy do does happily ever after exist and what kind of sacrifices would you make for your spouse if your spouse is going for something big a dream and we were talking about okay like how much do we need to bring in how much do we spend how much work is he willing to do to support me like would he work a full-time job and do a side hustle on the side so that we can be comfortable with our lifestyle and until I'm fully functioning I'm fully working my coaching practice my coaching enterprise full-time um, and, and it starts bringing in income in a way that's very sustainable <laughs> my husband is the he's the eternal realist and he's just like um when are we going to have a real conversation about this? Hey, Marie. And like, would you, if I asked you to put your, if I asked you to put your life at stake and if I asked you to work um, a full-time job and a side hustle so that I could go after a dream that's really unpredictable, would you do it? <laughs> I said, yeah, I would. If I had the capacity, I would. And I guess when he asked me that question, I thought about Brendan Burchard. <laughs> he is this crazy motivational speaker slash author slash all sorts of stuff. And he he's, you know, he's probably a millionaire, billionaire now. And his fiance then, his wife now, like she stood by him. You know, she did her own thing. She had her own business. They live in a little apartment. It's not as complicated as ours or not not complicated not as involved as ours because we actually have two kids that comes with expenses like daycare and extracurricular activities and stuff like that <laughs> and um so there there's a lot there's a few more people involved than just me and everett so it's not as simple as oh we'll just live in an efficiency apartment and we'll just make sacrifices um 
there's my parents to consider because I love having my parents with us and I love living with them. And so we can't just move into a one bedroom apartment. We couldn't just live in an efficiency apartment. There has to be room for the kids. There's room for us. There's room for my parents. There's a lot of things to consider. And on top of that, I would like to work my soul elevated life coaching enterprise with my courses and my books and my, my private coaching all somehow and bringing in sustainable income and <laughs> be living my, doing my life work, my life purpose and not driving my husband crazy and not stressing him out with his, his assessment of our risk. <laughs> There's a lot to consider. There's a lot to 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 consider and respect and to acknowledge, and it's interesting. So it was very interesting to have this conversation today, and I don't know what I make of it. Um, I just know that there is much work to be done in the last two weeks I have left in April. I've yet to make anywhere near my goal of seventy five hundred dollars this month. So it's time to offer some courses and get cracking on that book and to. Um, make myself available for clients to sign up for my coaching one-on-one -on -one services. There's the group coaching practice to be had. Like there's so much work to be done and, and it's time to do it. It's time to do it. I have two weeks left to pull it off and I'm probably going to get LASIK on Friday, which means I'll be incapacitated for a few hours, at least for the rest of the Friday evening and maybe some of Saturday until I can finally see. But somehow I trust that Everything will fall into place and everything will be perfect. Everything will be divine. And we may be going through some growing pains now, but I have no doubt that it's just temporary and everything will work out. <laughs> the darkest nights produce the brightest stars. That's what I learned from watching the Transformers movie this past weekend with my son. He, he watched this movie called Bumblebee. Bumblebee is the yellow Transformer. He's the VW... He's the Volkswagen uh, Beetle, and um, and there's this cute kid in there, and he says, "On the darkest nights, the darkest nights produce the brightest stars." So you never know, you never know what it's gonna look like, what it's gonna unfold like. I just know, and I have faith that everything will turn out fine. Everything's divine. Everything is perfect. In the meantime, I'm going to hustle and do my work, and provide the courses and the offerings, and make myself available and be really committed to my life purpose and being a Sherpa and leading fellow souls up the mountain for their climb. There's just much work to do with tons of exuberance and enthusiasm and all that wonderful goodness. <laughs> In the meantime, I hope my husband deals with it. It's stress and overwhelm and all that stuff is a choice and that will be something he will powerfully transform over time. So that's all I have for you today, tonight. Uh, it is bedtime. It is time to give Ava a bath. It's time for me to take a shower. And I've only washed my hair. <laughs> and uh, it's time to take a shower. And um, what else? Be on the lookout for an upcoming course on relationships. Um, I will have the date finalized tomorrow. So I will, I will share with you. Um, that course is going to be $48. And it's going to be offered through... Uh, Michael Stone's Neurodynamic Breathwork website called breathworkonline.com. So that's going to be a relationship course. One month after that, there's going to be a money course. But between those two courses, I'm offering a different money course, as well as group coaching, as well as private coaching with me. So there's much, there's many different things to share with you. Hi, Ava. You want to say hi? Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Hi. I'm back. Huh? I'm back. You want a bath? Yes. Okay. You say bye. 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 Okay. Let's go take a bath. You ready to take a bath? Yes. Okay. Then you say bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. I send you love, light, profound clarity, infinite possibility. To create the life you desire to live, one that is aligned with your soul's expansion. Data. Data. Expansion and growth and purpose always, always. Sending you lots of love. And if you would like to work with me, check out my website, soul, S-O-U-L, elevatedlife.com. 
Yes. And you can subscribe to my my YouTube channel and help me hit a thousand views, a thousand subscribers. Uh, what else? That's it. Love you lots. Good night. Here's to you living a soul elevated life, and we'll see you tomorrow.